the, the timing? Well, I would also say that uh, whereas the DPP has the power to do what he's doing, he can only do that with the permission of the courts. Also, the courts who are allowing the cases to be withdrawn have a duty to us. You know what people forget is that the judge and the magistrate earn salaries. They're employees of the public. They don't do as a free service. They're paid to do this job. So in these cases are being withdrawn, what is the criteria? And I want to bring out a case that has been withdrawn that nobody seems to know about. Do you remember the case against Okemo and Gishuru? Yes. Something very bad has happened in that case. The charges against Gishuru have been dropped. Who was the principal accused person? Okemo was accused as an accessory. But now Okemo remains there defending a case he doesn't understand. But the case against the prime suspect has, was withdrawn secretly. That's why I'm saying that this DPP cannot be said to be doing things that are right. Because there's no way, if you looked at that case of Okemo and Gishuru, that the case, charges against Gichuru could be dropped. Because Okemo was accused as an accessory. So how do you drop the principal and pursue the accessory? And it's on record, I've even documents here, where that matter has been dropped. So why, and it's not in the public uh, limelight. So why is the DPP doing this? So to me what it happens is that it has undermined the institution of the DPP. And I think there's been a tradition that Jomo Kenyatta protected these bodies. You remember the Ngei case, where even they were made the law for Ngei to be able to run? Uh, Arab Moi defended these crooks, those who defended him. Mwai Kibaki defended these crooks. Uru Kenyatta have defended these crooks. And I doubt if uh, Ara William Ruto is not defending his crooks. Okay. There has been that pattern, and me I would like to look at it that way. But the DPP owes us an explanation, as the LSK has said. And the DPP is supposed to be an independent office. He's not, he should not, he should not behave like a can youth winger. You see? He's not behaving like that, and he has got that uh, pedigree anyway. Mm -hmm. But he should not behave like a can youth winger. And the question is, uh, shall we be able to trust mm. our institutions? And remember, the DPP gave press statements, released very detailed press releases, telling the public about this. Some of the people have been freed. Have billions of shillings that had been captured by the asset recovery which they could not explain. We cannot just say that this evidence has evaporated. Something is happening yeah. that doesn't add up. And to me, I think the thing that's happening is that uh, Dr. William Ruto is protecting his crooks. Okay. Those who lie with him and... Uh, James, I'd, uh, like, I'd like to make a rejoinder. And may I finish? <laughs> and also, this idea of uh, the executive working with the independent office. The reason we created the independent offices in the constitution was to be able to speak truth to power. And it cannot be that these fellows are going to be vetted tomorrow, their cases are being withdrawn today. It's very, very purposeful. The, 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 the reasons why they are being done is very clear. So that when they appear before parliament, these cases are not there. There's no other reason. That's the only reason they're doing it. Because they why didn't they withdraw the Maria? Okay. And, uh, and these cases were not even listed in the menu of the courts. Yeah. Why have they been brought forward? So there's something that it's, doesn't add up. There's a coincidence. It's, 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 it just so happened, you know, that, that these matters had to be dealt with now. Yes. One, on the, on the issue of um, courts being obligated to question why... Um, DPP is asking for a withdrawal or uh, a discharge. They do that. And it's something that is founded in, um, in, you know, in our jurisprudence. We have a case, um, criminal uh, revision number 267 of 2010 by the High Court of Kitale, where the court established even where the DPP is seeking this withdrawal from Article 157, then the court can question. And we've had instances where the court has questioned and told the DPP no. Even in some of these cases we're discussing currently, 
uh, was it Lenol Kulal's matter? We had the court telling the prosecutor, no, you can't make this as an oral, by way of oral application. You go back and f uh, file a formal application. And a formal af application, by its very nature, has to adduce reasons. So we're, we're, we're here relying a lot on um, media transmission, and no offense to, to yourselves. I'm really interested whether we're going with this one. <laughs> no, no, no offense to yourselves. So we're really relying on, on, on media transmissions. But if you think about it, the articles we read um, in, in newspapers or this, the news clips that we watch do not really give us the entire context of the matter. You would have to interact with um, the file in our court premises to see what it is the court recorded so that you understand why the court allowed that um, withdrawal. Now, for Anabel, some of this... Is Anabel, just for the, for no, the point, wait, for the point of it what, is this way. Just wait, no, just are you what? saying every Kenyan should go to those every courts that they can interact with the case? No, no, but, no, but no, no, the, no, the, no, the no society has I'm gone saying, and looked at those files and I'm come out saying, and say there's no reason why these cases were withdrawn, so tell us why. I, I watched uh, the statement by President Eric Theuri. I do not recall hearing a segment where they said they have gone to court and perused the file. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Then the other thing is, um, so let us wait for that formal application to be filed. Let us see the reasons, and then let us wait and see whether they they make sense um, or not. The other thing is, he has made mention of Mr. Omtata, or rather Honorable Omtata, has made mention of we have seen some of these um, cases, a lot of sensation uh, from the ODPP, and then these people have walked free. Yet the evidence was looking like uh, they are very guilty, guilty, guilty. We need to remember that. Accused people, whether it is in our usual criminal uh, matters or under anti-corruption uh, purview, are innocent until proven guilty. So when you come with an allegation, your, your allegation sounds or you sound like you have a very strong case until the other party advances their side of the story. So for people who have been released by our courts, it means whatever argument or whatever story um, the prosecution took to court, did not hold water when the other party advanced their side of the story. So it's not necessarily to say that they are walking scot-free because the institution has been compromised. 